The Aerospace Corporation of El Segundo, California, a not-for-profit company, since 1968 has been conducting detailed studies of a new concept of urban transportation. Technological expertise gained through Aerospace Corporation's work in the space and missile field has been applied in developing this new concept. It is called Advanced Personal Rapid Transit, or APRT. To demonstrate the feasibility of these new technical approaches, a one-tenth scale model was built of the vehicle body and suspension, propulsion and control system, and the guideway, including electromagnetic switching units. Three of the scale model demonstration vehicles travel at two miles per hour, one-tenth of the simulated 20 mile per hour speed. Three cars can operate simultaneously on the track. The cars receive power and command signals from a control room adjacent to the outdoor facility. Commands are stored on punched paper tape. They are processed by a tape reader and sent to the cars by an automatic sequencer. When commanded, the cars execute maneuvers stored on board. Electromagnetic switching is fast acting and requires no moving parts. As the vehicle approaches the switch, one side of the electromagnets is energized. The electromagnets maintain vehicle stability. Switching is smooth and reliable. Electromagnets are used at merge points as well. This sequence of model operations illustrates several key features of a high capacity APRT system. The cars are operating at one-half foot separation. This equates to a one-half second interval between passage of successive vehicles. Even at such close spacing, vehicles can be switched in alternate directions. The middle car merges with the vehicle stream, while all three cars maintain precise position control. The number one car switches from the vehicle stream and is commanded to slip three slot positions while the other two cars maintain a constant speed. Each of the cars upon command can execute a variety of such maneuvers. These maneuvers are typical of those required to cope with traffic management situations. In this maneuver, we see the middle car, number three, switch to the side track and then advance one slot while the lead car slips one slot. The rear car maintains constant speed. We now see the rear car switch and advance one slot while the middle car simultaneously slips one slot. Here, the two leading cars switch to the side track and are commanded to simultaneously perform three slot slips. Now, the rear car switches while the two leading cars perform a simultaneous three slot slip. The cars are now in the same order in which they started. To demonstrate the emergency stop capability of this system, a barrier is placed on the guideway. When the lead car strikes the barrier, it transmits a signal to the following cars, which causes them to stop in a safe and controlled manner. The same procedure is shown for three cars. The model design and the test work, combined with results of additional technical and economic analyses, have convinced the Aerospace Corporation that high-capacity advanced personal rapid transit is both feasible and practical. We are continuing to work with agencies of the federal government 
or the transformation of this concept into a working system.